Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Grammar TV. My name's Jack Wickham. And my name's Georgia Miller. is a light-hearted boys versus girls challenge which is presented by Will. Hi, I'm Asha. And I'm Sam. And today we're getting buckets in a game of horse. Right, so this will be our bread and butter of horse toss. Thank you, Sam, for being a good sport, and congratulations to Aisha on winning the first of a series of Boys vs Girls challenges. Thanks to Sam and Aisha for being such good sports. Two weekends ago, Palace Barrett went to the Football Gala Day to get his story. On Saturday the 16th of June, Grandma hosted a football gala day at the main oval against St Pats. All senior football teams, including the girls firsts, played competitively with good spirit. Sadly, the results didn't go our way, but we had great crowd attendance and support from the whole LCGS community. Credit must go to St Pats for playing superbly well, and also a big thank you to Mr Finch and Miss Austin for putting this on. This has been Paulus Barrett reporting for Grammar TV. Unfortunately, no wins, but it was great to see so many people out there. Georgia and Macy will be presenting our next episode about the Grade 12 Walkathon. It's that point. It brings the group together with a common task. Um, the second bit is it's a physical challenge because it's a really long way to walk. You know, it's pretty tiring. And the third part is the giving back to the community, so the giving and the charity side. Speak Up Stay Chatty is an organisation created by Mick McPherson in 2013. It is a not-for-profit institution that works to prevent suicide and enhance positive mental health by encouraging people to get help if they're struggling. The Grade 12s raised $22,000 to help Mitch and his team reach out to more people in need. Good job to the Grade 12s and we're certainly excited to do it ourselves. Our final story today is on debating, presented by Nick and Thomas. I interviewed Dr Clements to learn the benefits of junior debating. Debating is about structuring an argument. More often in the school setting, that will be delivered in uh, an essay or some other piece of writing. Learning how an argument is structured is a highly transferable skill. Debating generally gives students a lot more confidence. Getting up in front of, in front of people and speaking is one of the toughest things that young people face. It's not just the ability to get up in front of people and speak. It's, it's the ability to have confident conversations. It's the ability to know how to respond when you're challenged, to be able to articulate an argument. Junior debating can naturally lead to senior debating, 
but also to public speaking and to uh, most people in uh, well, no matter what grade but certainly in TC will need to do presentations and those presentations will almost invariably have some component of an argument. More often than not people that have done junior debating will go on to be confident public speakers. When you sign up for your extracurricular activities junior debating will be one of those options and you should sign up. Nick Cronin, Grammar TV. That's all for this episode of Grammar TV. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.